Okay, here's the summary, and you can simply watch the screen, or if you wish, you can try to follow along on your model. It doesn't matter to me. I want you to remember that the question that we've been trying to answer all along is this. How do we get a child to have evaluative comprehension by eighth grade? And the way that we do that is by ensuring that they understand and can read expository schema when they encounter it and narrative schema when they encounter it. We will have a child who has evaluative comprehension if they're able to answer inferential and literal questions that are posed to whatever type of text they happen to be reading. We also have to make sure that they are able to work with advanced polysyllabic words. They're able to do things like structural analysis and etymology, especially for expository text, and use context effectively when they read so that they can ultimately achieve the ability to evaluate a text when they read it. Now, there's no point in trying to get a child to comprehend any higher level text unless they are fluent. So the all-important question now becomes, how do we get a child to be fluent enough to be able to comprehend? Well, we do so by ensuring in third grade, by third grade, that they're able to read any simple polysyllabic words, any phonics generalizations, and any onsets and rhymes when they encounter them. We also ensure that they're fluent by ensuring that they can recognize any sight words that they encounter and any irregular sight words that they encounter. Now there's no point at all in dealing with any of the stuff in area B or C or D unless way back in kindergarten the children were taught the foundations of reading. The foundations of reading being concepts about print and phonemic awareness. The foundations of reading meaning that they were exited with the ability to name upper and lowercase letters and the ability to segment. The reason that segmenting and upper and lowercase letter naming are so important is that they allow we, the teacher, to begin some letter correspondence with the student, which is then the gateway to decoding, which becomes the gateway to fluency, the gateway to upper elementary vocabulary development, and ultimately evaluative comprehension. Well, I hope that this was helpful to you. Uh, we certainly will go over more things as we progress through our lessons together and work through the workbook. But thank you very much for listening.